If I am ever a history teacher, I can talk to my students about history in the same way that Dr. Schleck talked to me about history. I can put forth prompts for writing and discussion that um, to my students that Dr. Schlecht put to me about and my classmates um, about our subjects. Um, or if I'm an administrator someday um, or um, that's in charge of other teachers, I can you know, write trainings or suggestions or lesson plans or things like that um, about um, history, not just the history that I learned, um, but history in general. Um, because not only did I learn material that's relevant for a classical Christian professional to know, obviously Greek history is, is sort of foundational, but I learned it in a classical way. Um, and that's something that I didn't have before um, that I think is, um, is what really attracted me to the program. That's really been, every one of my classes has had, has had that, kind of, uh, that kind of effect. I think the, um, you know, the point of being educated is to glorify God, right? And, uh, and that's something that I probably wouldn't have put into words, even though I'm a Christian of, uh, you know, kind of a Reformed Baptist background. So, you know, it seems like glorifying God comes up a lot. But I'm not sure that I would have ever put into words that the point of education is to glorify God. And that's something I learned at NSA. Um, and, uh, and so as we go through our classes, we learn about um, not just the content, um, but we learn about how this content has historically formed people and why. Um, we, you know, I took a class on Arthurian literature and um, a lot of what we talked about was how this kind of literature uh, was formative to the type of people that read it. How is it formative to different type of people that read it, the different types of, you know, nobles and troubadours and knights and peasants and things like that. How was this formative um, and uh, and not in a kind of rote you know worldview training type of way but in a um, in a uh, in a way that's firmly situated in um, in historical context that shows us how um, shows us how the that God's truth is God's truth um, and the myriad ways that it shows up in different subjects and in different time periods to different people um, and the way that God can reveal truth um, to people through all kinds of different things, whether it's poetry um, or literature um, or uh, Latin, you know, academic texts or um, or science or or whatever, um, and that uh, that has that has come through in, um, in 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 my in my time at NSA and the classes that I've taken.